about 50% of diabetics are not presently being screened in a timely fashion. So often it goes undiagnosed. And this is the big challenge for the healthcare system is to figure out more efficient ways to get patients screened. Presently, they need to make an appointment with an ophthalmologist, which tends to be a barrier to care because just another appointment these diabetics have to go to, they're already seeing many doctors, whether it be for kidney problems or just general care. And the last thing they want to do is go see an eye doctor when they're not having any symptoms. That's why what's really starting to become a standard treatment is this idea of screening patients in the primary care doctor's office or the diabetologist's office with cameras. And that's really kind of becoming the norm. Uh, it's a way to screen diabetics. One takes a picture of the back of their eye. Those pictures are typically read by a retina specialist. In the future, augmented um, intelligence is going to be reading those as well. So we're able to screen a lot more patients in a much more patient-friendly manner. So we're not, they're not having to show up to another doctor, having to pay another copay. Uh, these things tend to be barriers to care, whereas screening programs in the primary care doctor's offices are becoming more and more commonplace. I know in the city I work in, it really has become the standard way to screen many diabetics that presently are not being screened with their own general ophthalmologist or optometrist, whoever their eye care specialist is. So I think in the future, because there's such an epidemic, there's such an increase in the number of diabetics, the only way they're all going to be able to be screened is through these larger screening programs using technology, using cameras in primary care doctor's offices to screen these patients. Those that have disease then are sent to the eye care specialist who specializes in managing diabetic eye disease, and that way they're taking care of those patients. Their clinics aren't clogged up by screening patients because they're already being screened, so we as the retina surgeons are able to manage the patients that actually have disease. So everyone wins in that situation. So I think you're going to see more and more of what's termed telemedicine or teleretinal screening. It goes by several names. And it's really a very cost-efficient way to screen patients and to prevent them from having vision loss. Typically, patients, as mentioned, ideally we want to see them before they have any signs and symptoms. But patients, if they start developing gradual visual blurring, those that have diabetic macular edema tend to get gradual loss in vision, central vision, in, in one eye or both eyes at a time. Uh, often patients will present with a sudden onset of floaters, which is a very common symptom. However, in diabetics, there's always a the concern that those floaters are caused by hemorrhaging or bleeding in the, in the back of the eye in the vitreous cavity, which can cause these floaters. Sometimes patients will present with a sudden vision loss due to a large vitreous hemorrhage, which can cause dramatic drop in vision in a matter of seconds or minutes, where patients say, hey, I saw a shower of floaters and they increased and suddenly everything was very hazy uh, and it happened, uh, maybe I woke up with no vision in my eye or, or they were doing something outside and they started noticing a bunch of stuff floating in their vision and it started clouding up and that's a typical vitreous hemorrhage will cause that type of symptoms. Whereas the diabetic macular edema is a much more gradual loss in vision of central blurring uh, without associated uh, vitreous hemorrhage. Some studies, there's a lot of data out there, some people believe that about 10% of diabetics will lose their vision. Recent studies suggest that that number's increasing because patients are not getting timely care. With the increased number of diabetic patients and the limited health care, uh, access to health care, we're seeing more and more patients treated later in their disease, which is tragic because we actually have better treatments today than we've ever had, and those that get timely care, we can prevent them from losing any vision.